as the temperature continues to plummet, local firefighters are battling fire, ice, and freezing conditions. A dangerous mix, of course, on every call. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick live tonight in Mount Auburn for us. Brian. And yeah, Mike, no break for firefighters in these frigid temperatures. They're just as busy, if not more so, when it gets cold. With temperatures far below freezing, crews like these in North College Hill are not only fighting fires, it's, just, it's miserable. But the elements, same on this St. Bernard fire. And as far as the cold, I mean, you got the, just the, the wear and tear on the body of the men. And if sub zero temperatures aren't bad enough, just add water. Hoses can freeze. On this fire, a hydrant froze up. Even the firefighters find themselves wearing portable igloos. That if you get a coating of ice on your coat, on your gloves and stuff, that kind of insulates you. District Fire Chief Greg Potter says there are usually metro buses to get crews out of the cold, but once you're iced up. As soon as you get in the bus, it thaws out. All that water gets absorbed into your body, and you come back out and you're even co feeling colder than you did before. And despite flames 30 feet in the air on this houseboat fire yesterday, cold was still a problem as firefighters worked to skate around to trouble. Fighting the elements, the dock froze up on us, the firefighters had trouble keeping their feet. And while some say the only thing worse than fighting fires in the winter is doing it in the summer, but that's a debate that can get heated. The heat's probably worse on your body overall, it's taxing on your body. But I'd rather fight a fire in the heat all day long than ever fight it in the cold. And with those tanks, the heavy clothes, the boots, they say that slipping on the ice is one of the leading causes of injuries for firefighters this time of year. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT.